What's good, people? Thought that time to randomly relate, reverse rants, no hate. Okay, so let me just get into this. This is not really a part two. It's more like a continuation because I did a breakdown of Andy Ruiz versus AJ. And I did a breakdown of uh, Fury versus Wilder. And I crossed that, you know, um, AJ versus Fury. And then uh, uh, I didn't do AJ uh, Wilder versus Ruiz. Now, let me just give a quick breakdown of what I see. Okay, the way I see that, like, personally, even though Andy Ruiz has slow feet, he doesn't know how to cut off a ring, okay? Wilder also has the inability to mix punches up and use his jab consistently and work off the jab. If, if Wilder knew how to work off that jab, Throw that right hand, follow with the left foot, bam, right. You know, like, he, he, he doesn't he doesn't have that kind of speed to throw. He, he, has, he See, he throws a quick right hand, but he doesn't throw quick combinations. He barely throws combinations at all. He, really, he doesn't throw combinations. He just throws wild slaps when he does try to load up. And it's just right, left, right, left. No, no, you know, you know, boom, bang, bang, you know, bing, bang, bang, you know what I'm saying? Bing, bang, 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 bang. He doesn't, he doesn't do that. He doesn't do any of that. Everything he throws is, is, is just... Other than that right hand, the only thing that he throws the most is a one-two. And remember, it was a time he used to leap in with it. He would leap in with the left hand and then throw on top of it. Boom, right? His inability to throw anything or hurt you with anything other than the right hand. I think Andy Ruiz beats Deontay Wilder. Because I don't see Deontay Wilder being able to, in the long run, However long that fight goes, as soon as Ruiz starts to get in, because Deontay, he'll throw a jab to the body, he moves, he moves, he spends more time just trying to figure out what to do in one shot at a time. <clears throat> He's trying to get be careful and not get counted, right? So when he does attack, he just lets it all go until they tie him up or until he, you know, miss and then cover up and get out, you know, start backing up. I think that Andy Ruiz just had his hands is just too fast for Wilder. And I know everybody keeps thinking, even though it didn't work against Fury. He finally fought someone, and AJ said this months ago. He said, it's not so much that Wilder hits so hard. It's the people he's been fighting. What happens when you fight someone that, that's going to take it, even if he drops, and they're going to get up and keep coming? And you saw what happened. Now, with Ruiz being the height that he is, and Ruiz knows he has to get in. He has to come in. The problem with Wilder is the fact that he throws one punch at a time, and when he does throw two punches, it's the simple jab right hand. They're going to be looking for that. They're going to be counting that. They're going to throw certain feints, certain movement, movements where they want to bait him to throw that shot so they can counter it. And basically, let's just say the fight goes a distance, right? It starts to go on three, four, five, six rounds. Wilder is going to be the one backing up, not Ruiz. Ruiz is not going to back up. And Wilder can't fight going back. And for everything that Wilder will try to do, it's going to be repetitive. Repetitive. And Ruiz is going to work his body. He's going to rip shots on the inside. Ruiz is just a much better fighter all around. I don't see Wilder being able to do anything but knock him out. And who's ever knocked Ruiz out? I mean, let's be real, man. Um... Wilder's punching down in this fight, not straight out, and he, he, he has no defense, really. He, his whole defense is just going this and standing, backing up, standing against the ropes with his hands up. He doesn't know how to slip punches, roll punches. He doesn't know how to do any of that, man. He, 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 um, if he can't knock Reese out, he loses, either by knockout or a unanimous decision. And for all those people that think, for whatever reason, that uh, Luis Ortiz is better than Andy Ruiz. You guys got to understand this too, right? It's your opinion and you're entitled to it. But how many people have you ever heard Team Ortiz making offers to that was top tier fighters? All I've ever heard is, I want to fight this guy, I want to fight that guy. All right, hey, let's, let's fight there. Yeah, you know, that. no offers made. Okay? Only person that he has, all that Malik Scott or whoever, Brian Jennings, whichever one it was that he fought. 
that's the best person on his resume up until Wilder, and he got knocked out both times. There's no Dylan White on his resume. There's no AJ. Okay, there's no Daniel Dubois. There's no Joe Joyce. There's none of these guys. I mean, so if you're going, there's no Pavetkin. You know I mean, there's guys that he could afford that he didn't fight. For some reason, people see Luis Ortiz as whenever he fights, he's supposed to get a championship title shot. Why? All he's done against a top tier fighter was lose, get get knocked out twice. So I mean, what what? Who was it that that Luis? I mean. I, I be honest with you, I never felt threatened that Ortiz would beat AJ. I never felt he'd beat Tyson Fury. I never felt like he'd beat Dylan White. I don't think he can beat Joseph Parker. Now, if you basically are a fan of a person, well, yeah, people don't understand that because they're, they're, they're speaking as a fan and thinking as a fan, not realistically as to what the actual, you know, what's actually happening or what the possibilities. We don't know what can happen until they act, what's going to happen to they fight. We're just looking at what we see, and we're all entitled to our opinions. So that's that. I'm just saying, when you look at these things and you break them down for what they are, how can you possibly, like, think about it, right? It's like people saying Tyson would have knocked Ali out, and Ali says nobody knocks Ali out. Nobody beats Ali in this problem, not even me. Or oh, he's just saying that out of respect. No, this guy, is, Tyson says, look, man, Ali wasn't normal. This guy for 15 rounds is talking to you, pummeling you. You hit this guy, and if you're watching, you're going, oh, oh, he just caught Ali, and then Ali's going, that all you got, sucker? You know what that does to you psychologically? I just hit you with everything. And then, you know, Ali just didn't show fear in the ring, man. He, he was, he was, so, right. Now the Tyson fanboys are going, no, 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 he's just saying that. Okay, well, whatever. But at the end of the day, you know, this is not about who I like or who I want, the one that don't want to win. I think Andy Ruiz beats Deontay Wilder. And because of Andy Ruiz's hand speed and combination punching, I don't think any of these fighters that's out here currently can just stand in front of him and bang with him because they just don't have the hand speed. And if you can't compare, compete with his hand speed, you know, how can you... That's like, look, it's one thing to have hand speed and no power. You know, a little power, but he has both. You know, he has both. And in terms of his ability to take a punch, we've seen him take bombs. Now, we've seen Deontay Wilder get rocked. We've seen him get dropped by a pillow fisted fury, right? So when you guys say how much a guy weighs, that doesn't mean anything, man. You can dig back, and there's many guys that was big, heavy guys that didn't have um drill punching power. I mean, I remember a guy, James Thunder. Remember the, I think he was from New Zealand, big muscle bound guy. He had no power, man. And he was a big dude. Bruce Seldon was a big dude, didn't have power. Um um uh, I, it's just several guys I can think of. Some of them I can Michael Grant. Michael Grant was a big dude. Um you know he 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 had power. Nothing crazy, but he had some power. Um but you see what happened when the guy fought elite level fighters. Jorge Gonzalez, big guy, he didn't have crazy power. You know, when these guys fight elite level fighters, you, you see that all of a sudden it's different now. It's when you beat these meatballs, people think, you know, oh, this guy, he, he can fight. He can. There's, there's other guys. There's others. There's others. In fact, when I finish this video, I'll probably just go dig in my library of fights, man, just to dig up some people. To, there's others. There's a lot of people. That, they're big, but they don't they don't have crazy power like that. You know, they, they 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 have it's an accumulation of shots. You know, and I think because Ruiz being short, a lot of times like when he fight guys, he's reaching up to them. But once he trap you and catch you, if you can't escape this guy and he can catch you and, and, and he's gonna knock you out. And if he doesn't knock you out, he's gonna beat you off points because he's just too fast for these guys. So personally, I think Ruiz beats Deontay Wilder. I don't see Wilder being able to adjust. Um, to make the adjustments he need to do anything other than just throw his jab right in. Um, one shot at a time. Deontay Wilder doesn't have footwork at all. He just walks back in a straight line. And basically, I just think he gets knocked out. I personally think Andy Ruiz knocks out Deontay Wilder. Now, will we get to see these fights? Maybe, maybe not. Hopefully we will. But that's all I'm going to say on this video. And I will catch y'all on the next one.